Thank you. You're welcome. Do you like my setup? Yes. Yeah, cute. So easy. So I am at my parents' house right now, and I thought I would just do a quick like chit chat, get ready with me while I'm getting ready for the day. I am out on our screened-in porch. I'm just getting all my stuff together. Maybe update you on my life a little bit. I've talked to you about my eyelash extensions because I've been getting a bunch of questions about those. And just like what's going on in my life. I feel like I haven't like sat down and just done like a... Someone's like trimming their grass. Awesome. By the way, I'm using the Dynamic Duo on my face today. The Cover FX Illuminating Primer and the Tarte Amazonian Clay BB Tinted Moisturizer. I also threw in a little bit of the Amazonian Clay Foundation. So I just got back from vacation. Um, I'm sure if you follow me on Instagram, you know. <laughs> we did Yacht Week. We went to Croatia. And oh my god, it was so much fun. Hold on, let me get my hair on my face. It was so much fun, you guys. We had the freaking week of our lives. We had just such a good group of people and Croatia was gorgeous. It's one of those places I feel like I wouldn't have gone in my life had I not been doing this trip. Also, if you can hear background noises, it's like the bugs and people are like clipping their lawn. It's awesome. So just ignore that. <laughs> it was beautiful. It was like nowhere I've ever been before. I haven't been to that many places, <laughs> but um, it was how I imagined like Greece or Italy would kind of be. It was just so old and like so much rustic architecture. We actually filmed, these heat bugs are going to be the death of me. Can you shut it? We filmed the entire time. Um, and so we will be putting a vlog out of the trip, which I am so freaking excited about because like it was that gorgeous. I'm just fully in like I want to travel everywhere mode now like I I don't know I just it's all I want to do ever you know when you get back from a trip and you're like oh it's so nice to be home I felt that but I was also like okay where are we going next like you just realize when you go to places like that like I haven't seen anything and the world is so big and I just I want to experience all of it concealing with the ColourPop um, concealer I've been using this every single day lately the shape tape was just feeling a little heavy for me this time of year so I mixed two of these together and I love this concealer. Light 20, I mix light 20 and beige 25. It was incredible, so stay tuned for that vlog, you guys. It'll probably be up, I'm hoping, in the next like week or two. Um, we actually sent it to get edited because it's a lot of like GoPro footage and things like that and um, I just wanted it to be like a really cool professionally edited vlog, so I'll have that up on my channel soon. Also, Right before I left for vacation, I went and got eyelash extensions. You can see them here. I feel like I need to zoom you in a teeny bit more. Hold on. I had been wanting to get eyelash extensions for a really long time. I just hadn't found anybody that I felt like was really going to give me the type of eyelashes that I wanted, like the super natural look. I need to set my face. Luckily, like right before my trip, no! One of the hairstylists at my hair salon, I was like, oh my God, where did you get your lashes done? They look amazing. And she told me about this girl, Ibby, who um, works at a salon, but also works out of her home. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna contact her and see what's up, like see if she can fit me in. Classic Sarah, I, <laughs> it's like not even a week before my trip and I'm like, hey, can you fit me in? I'm bronzing with the Tarte Park Ave Princess bronzer. So luckily she was able to fit me in before I went on vacation. Oh my goodness, I loved them while I was there. The reason I wanted to get them before I went on vacation was because we were gonna be on a boat all week. I didn't really wanna feel the need to put a ton of makeup on every day, or really even any makeup with eyelash extensions. Like you, it's so easy to not wear makeup. I don't know, you just feel ready. You wake up feeling ready and it's the best feeling. So I was able to get in with Ibby and I was so thankful and she did an incredible job. Like I made sure to tell her, I don't want it to look like a strip. Um, I really want it to look super natural. I mean, I want you to be able to notice them, but I still want them to look natural. I don't want them to look like, oh, that girl must have eyelash extensions, you know? Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade for my brows. So I will link all of Ibby's information below this video. So if you are local and you want to check her out, you can. I could not recommend her enough. Once I start doing my eye makeup, I will zoom in and you can really check them out. But oh my God, she did an incredible job and it's going to be like so hard for me to go back now. 
I will say like I've gotten a lot of questions about like you know do you like having lashes what does it feel like is it annoying like what is the deal and those were all things that I wondered before I got them I was worried just because like I like applying false lashes like I like being able to have the freedom to do that I guess if I feel like I want to so I was a little worried about like kind of the makeup side of it and like applying makeup with them like I just didn't know what it was gonna be like I'll kind of go through and answer the most asked questions that I've gotten the first is are you gonna get them again did you like them enough to like go get them filled in and obviously yes I actually just got them filled like two days ago it's honestly a convenience thing I feel like for people which are I think maybe a lot of my subscribers who don't like to put a ton of makeup on every day who like to kind of do a base with maybe like a little bit of a neutral eye a lip gloss something like that if you're that person you would love lashes because it just accelerates how quickly you can do your makeup and be ready for the day I mean for me I like to spend the time getting ready and doing my makeup so I'm a little bit different in that way um, I know like most of my friends are like oh I have to like sit down and do my makeup and get ready so if you're that type of person I think you would love lashes they are individual so she basically the way they do it is they attach the lash the false lash to your real lash with like a teeny teeny little bit of glue let me just quickly do this other eyebrow off camera and I will pick this up hold on don't want to bore you doing my eyebrows this entire time also I went back to using the dip brow pomade recently just because my benefit pencil and, and the Neutrogena pencil I, I used both of them out they're empty so I went back to the dip brow and I was like oh I love this freaking thing I've also been cleaning up the edges of my brows lately this is basically just like a flat brush I put a little bit of concealer on it it just kind of finishes them out for you in a really nice way it's a teeny little step really quick and easy but it makes a big difference what I learned is we are losing our eyelashes all the time, right? Like our eyelashes are just falling out regularly. I think she told me like you use you lose anywhere from like 100 to 50 lashes a week. They just fall out. So because you lose your lashes so frequently and the false lashes are attached to your real lashes, obviously the false lashes fall out and that's why you have to get them filled. So the maintenance is definitely something to consider. You have to go back every like two to three weeks and get them filled. They're not just there forever. It's just like an added expense, obviously. So keep that in mind. But um, like I said, like the convenience of it is amazing. Um, I need to wipe my lips off because I look kind of dead. Honestly, I go everywhere with this thing. This is the Aspen Ovard face and eyeshadow palette. I've used this on my channel a million times. I've actually been switching back and forth between this guy and the Neutrogena Force of Nature palette. So um, if you have any other questions about false lashes, let me know. I'm trying to think what else I can tell you guys about them. I mean, you definitely have to take care of them like anything. Like they need maintenance. You need to wash them with like a certain soap and solution just to make sure they're clean and that the false lash isn't covering up the real lash follicle because if that happens there'll be issues with them growing but all the myths about them like making your eyelashes fall out like unless you're picking them off your eyelashes fall out anyway so I just thought that was like interesting and I kind of wanted to like clarify that myth for you guys if you're super curious and you've been thinking about trying it I would say like just try it see what you think you don't have to get the fill and do them every three weeks if you end up not liking them but if you are in the Boston area I highly 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 recommend Ivy she's so sweet and she's so freaking talented like this is not easy this is meticulous work the first time you go and get the full set it takes about two hours so it's about one hour per eye and I just fall asleep every time I go because <laughs> it's so soothing and comfortable but like it is meticulous work to put a lash a tiny little lash onto a real lash like I was thinking about it and I was like I would never have the patience to do this job it's amazing what she can do so I highly recommend her if you are interested and in the Boston area like I said if you guys have any other questions about lashes just leave them below for me I'll go through and answer those for you so I'm at home because it's Labor Day weekend since Ethan and I were away for vacation for so long we were like we need to go home and reset a little bit I definitely haven't been resetting like health wise because I've just been like catching up with my parents and drinking and <laughs> eating whatever I want so I feel like after Labor Day it's gonna be the time for the real reset you know 
So upcoming trips, I am going to Chicago at the end of September, which I am so excited about. I've only been to Chicago one time. If you guys have been to Chicago and you have recommendations of like things I need to do, write those below for me. But I've only been to Chicago once and it was for work. This is going to be like just a girls weekend, which is going to be so fun. I can't wait. And then after that, I'm going to Aruba in October. It's Ethan's birthday and it's his family trip like they go to Aruba every single year right around this time so we decided to join them this year and I've never been to Aruba either I'm so excited this is definitely going to be like a much more relaxing trip than Yacht Week was <laughs> I'm trying to decide if I'm going to do a lower lash line also Ibby gives me gives me where is it these little guys you probably saw me using these throughout the video and you kind of just like comb out your lashes when they get a little crazy because when they get wet they do get a little like they clump together a little bit when they dry they're fine but I like to just kind of comb them out like throughout the day if they get messed up and it kind of just like makes them perfect this is the ideal false lash look for me when I apply false lashes this is the goal of what I want it to look like so to not have to do that and just have it be this way is pretty bomb I have been dying over this shade this is the shade i used in my last video ignite i'm telling you guys if you want to just apply it with bronzer like i did in my video it's super easy but if you want to do like a nude pink like this is my go-to eye look that i do pretty much every day and this shade complements it so well it's so pretty this is the l'oreal true match lumi highlight and i just can't believe that it is freaking september i feel like i say this every year and i feel like everyone says this every year like oh my god the year is flying by how is it september when i went to cvs the other night and saw the candy corn i was like wait i had to like think i was like what month is it and when is it halloween like i gotta think about my halloween costume i gotta think about halloween makeup i'm excited though i'm really excited for fall i think after oh i'm mixing the two nudes in the um carrie washington palette for my lips i think after my trip to croatia like it, because it was so freaking hot there it was 90 like 95 degrees there every day on the water it was gorgeous but it was freaking hot i was like i'm really excited to go home and have like a new england winter or fall not winter i'm not excited for winter i was excited to come home and you know wear like jeans and a sweatshirt and have it be cool but be you're just like so comfortable in that oh fall, new england fall is the best it's also obviously football season which in new england is just always fun so like fantasy football and college football just started and i'm gamecock so i like enjoy i enjoy watching that and just like having pumpkin head beer and like football food and so this time last year i was on my wedding diet so i kind of like missed fall i just didn't do the things that i always get to do like have pumpkin head beer and nachos and pizza <laughs> i was just like on a crazy wedding diet so like i also didn't even really get to have thanksgiving like i think i had like a piece of turkey and some green beans <laughs> being a little psychotic so setting with urban decay i feel like i have a lot to make up for like i'm gonna do it this fall like i'm gonna have my pumpkin head i'm not gonna spare <laughs> one calorie i'm gonna have like a full thanksgiving and thanksgiving's like our favorite family holiday i'm not messing around did enough of that last year <laughs> So yeah, Ethan and I are thinking about doing another big trip next year. We talked about Italy. We, I've been dying to go to Italy. Like that's where we were going to go on our honeymoon. But since we got married in December, it was just not good weather. If you know me, you know I love pizza. I need to go to Italy. I'm dying. So that's it. Um, the only other thing that I didn't talk to you guys about was that I just thought of was my Invisalign. So I kind of want to update you on just like what I, what I've gone through, I feel like. So I got Invisalign like six months, oh, like six months before my wedding in hopes that my teeth would be perfect for my wedding. They weren't, but they were good enough. Perfect enough. It was fine. I have had to go through a lot more trays than originally what we thought. So I got my new set of trays the other day and it's 10 trays. Every tray is two weeks. So that would be 20 weeks total. So I am like convinced. I'm like, these are the last 10 trays. Like I'm done. I'm wearing these things 24 hours a day. I couldn't wear them when I was filming because it's hard to talk and I didn't want you guys to be distracted by my mouth. But I have these buttons on my teeth. This is basically the one tooth that they're trying to move down. It's just a little bit like turned up 
So he's trying to pull it down. The rest of them are pretty straight. So I have like little buttons on my teeth because they need like a leverage point. When you put the trays in, they need something for it to pull down onto, which makes sense. So I have all these little buttons on my teeth and I've had them before, but these are the new ones. I'm like, these are the last buttons I'm getting. These are the last trays I'm wearing. In 20 weeks, my teeth are going to be tip top telling you that so that you guys will maybe hold me accountable and make me wear my trays. So yeah, I will keep you guys updated, but I'll have a new tray every two weeks. <laughs> you probably won't notice much of a difference, but when it's perfectly straight and fixed, I'm hoping you do notice a difference. It's just one of those things that like I notice, you know, everyone has like that one or two things that they're just insecure about on their face. This is mine. So whenever I film and I rewatch the footage, I'm like that effing too <laughs> that drives me crazy. But I know it's probably just me noticing it and most people don't. Oh, I'm also gonna put my favorite perfume on. So I wore this perfume at my wedding and like my whole honeymoon. So it just gives me like really good vibes. Makes me happy. They just sent me a new fragrance and it's amazing. It's kind of like the nighttime version of this one. I, I mean, fragrances are super personal, so I can't say that everyone will love this, but this is like my all time favorite. This brand, Raw Spirit. I think that's everything. I think I've talked enough. I don't know how I'm gonna edit this footage because I know I was talking the entire time. That's what fasting and a nice coffee will do. To me thank you guys for watching this video i hope you enjoyed just a quick little informal catch up chit chat get ready with me like i said my croatia vlog will be up soon and yeah comment below what type of videos you guys want to see next i'm feeling the fall vibes so you can expect some fall makeup looks coming soon thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this video Mwah.